We are about to say something that you never want to say <laughs> as an RVer. Our ceiling is leaking. <laughs> Occasionally. Only on special occasions. Well, when it rains. Yeah. We don't know what it is. No. I went up there. It's coming into the ducting. So if you see these guys over here, these intakes, that's where it's leaking out of. And so when we do the auto level, it kind of depends on which way the RV is barely leaning because it's never perfect. Really. Yeah. <clears throat> so whichever way it's leaning, that's where the water coming out. Either this one or this one. And so I went on to the, the mostly this one. Yeah, I went on to the Facebook forums, tried everything that people suggested. Mm -hmm. I went up there. I took the water hose up there. I squirt and I was trying to get it to, to reproduce the <laughs> issue. I couldn't get it to leak nope. with the water hose. It's nope. only when it truly rains. Which is weird. So we have our very first mobile tech. It was currently on our roof. Yeah. You can probably hear him banging around <laughs> up there. Uh, so it's going to cost us a little money even to figure out what the problem is. And hopefully yeah. it's a minor issue, maybe like a seal underneath. But I didn't want to personally take the whole air conditioner. I would not allow you to <laughs> take the air conditioner <laughs> off. <laughs> So, it um, cost us more money than the visit. Yeah, so he's up there playing <laughs> around now, and we'll see what he can find, and I'll let you know. For the next two weeks, we are in Columbia, South Carolina. That's right. Pretty skyline in the back back yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Uh, this is Finlay Park. Finlay Park, and uh, so it's tiered, so you can get different levels and different shots. And uh, there's normally a waterfall going. Man-made waterfall. But not going right now. No. I don't know if that's because of Rona, or because they're doing maintenance. They yeah. don't have any signs up or anything. But um, it looks like it would be a pretty waterfall if it was running. It would be really cool. <laughs> and we bought postcards for our patrons. Uh, to send out of the waterfall so we wanted to come get a picture of the waterfall no didn't work out no <laughs> didn't work out but patrons you are gonna get a postcard with a beautiful waterfall what it should look like <laughs> of, yeah of what it should look like but <laughs> um, gotta love it so yeah we don't have any idea what's open and closed anything in Columbia South Carolina mm -hmm. so we are gonna go explore and see what we are going to be allowed Loud. Yeah. to get into <laughs> here we go we are at the boyhood home of president woodrow wilson yes in columbia south carolina what number was he he was number 28 there you go 28th <laughs> president of the united states and uh normally they'll let you go in the house but mm -hmm. rona got us again yeah can't go in uh they don't even have the the walking path around it they have walking path around it with little placards you can read yeah. can't even get in there no I, apparently if you go on the other side of this fence you'll get the rona which, for being in 2.5, I don't feel like we've progressed any. I think we're going backwards. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, President Wilson was uh, also, uh, before he was president, he was the president of Princeton University. Oh, I didn't see that. And he was the 34th governor of New Jersey yeah. before he was president. All right. He was president uh, during World War I. Mm -hmm. Uh, 19 early 1900s he was president yeah so um, anyway really cool mm. to see a former president's house yeah well when we were in Beaumont Texas mm -hmm. we went to what we thought was the world's largest fire hydrant yeah in front of the fire uh, yeah. museum museum yeah it's not uh, we lies. are we yeah <laughs> all lies we are now standing in front of the real 
world's largest fire hydrant. This one is actually about 10 feet taller than the one in Beaumont yeah. and outweighs it by several thousand Thousands. pounds. And it's in Columbia, South Carolina. Yeah. Um, there's another town that claims to have the world's largest fire hydrant. It's Lies, Lies also. <laughs> this is the actual world's largest fire hydrant in downtown uh, Columbia, South Carolina. And it's actually, it's pretty cool. Um, we've seen lots of world's largest stuff. Yeah. Chest of drawers. Well, that's part hydrant. of my requirements as we travel, that if we're <laughs> close to a world's largest something, I want to go see it. Yeah. Um, and we've actually seen two of the world's largest belt buckles. Yeah. They both claim to be the world's <laughs> largest. So I don't know. Yeah. Quit claiming to be the, the largest. If you're not. If you're, you're not, not the largest. <laughs> now, if you were at one time the largest, and someone made uh, one that's bigger. bigger. You gotta take your sign down. Yeah. You're not the biggest anymore, man. Mm -mm. False advertisement. Lies. Lies. I feel a little dumb. <laughs> I was so not ready for that. <laughs> Enlighten me. Why do you feel dumb? Well, the the guy came, the mobile tech. Oh, okay. And he said that a couple of the bolts might not have been tight. <laughs> Which, it's always the you don't know what you don't you know. You know, I, I was up there like spraying down everything with the hose, trying to recreate the the leak, and I was, you know, they have the little sections in there that catches the runoff water, yeah. and I was even like pouring water into those to, to make sure that the overflow of those ran off properly out of the little holes instead of into the ducting. Yeah, I didn't even <laughs> think that. The whole air conditioner might be dangerous. loose, and there might be a gap between the air conditioner and the um, the gasket, which could possibly be could the be. deal. So he tightened everything down, and we are starting to get the outer bands of Hurricane Sally. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to rain for like the next 24 hours. Yeah. So it'll be a good test. It is going to be a good test. And I hope that it was that dumb. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> because if if it wasn't, the only other option is the bad gasket. Yeah, I only have to replace it. And then that would cost more money. He'd have to come back out. I wouldn't look as dumb, <laughs> but I'd rather I'd rather look dumb and save money. Uh, you know, but uh, it costs us a hundred dollars for somebody to come tighten down some bolts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. That's why I feel dumb. Uh, but if it's a gasket, then it costs us $150. Yeah, it'd be another 50 so bucks. Then it, Either that, way, yeah. I think it's going to stop. He said he wasn't going to charge for coming back out. He's only going to charge for the gasket if he comes back out. Yeah. So. so we'll let it rain for the next 24 hours. Yeah. We'll let you know if the $100 yeah. for tightening a couple bolts was <laughs> worth it. $100 screw job. <laughs> <laughs> you failed dog. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> it just came to me. Yeah. And since the hurricane has started, Scout is cowering and he'll probably be hunkered down for the next 24, 24 hours. hours. <laughs> so we'll show you Scout real quick, but we'll come back and we'll let you know if the $100 screw job yep. did the job. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. I know. In your space, huh? <laughs> It's raining out. Yeah, it's cruddy. Mm -hmm. See how he does this. He'll, he'll be up on his log here, and then when it gets dark or rainy or something thundery or scary, he comes around here and he flips around. He puts himself on this, and then in so a little can, bit he can peek <clears throat> out, but he doesn't have to totally look out. Yeah, if if it really starts thundering or raining hard, he'll put his face like way he down in this <laughs> corner right here. <laughs> And he thinks that if he can't see you, then you can't see him, yeah. and he's safe. Yep. All right. See you later, bud. Enjoy the storm.
Well, we're standing at the uh, one of the sites on the Camden Revolutionary War historical grounds, and this is the mm -hmm. Camden Oak. It was the Camden. This grand <laughs> oak. Oh, don't make fun of her. I think I could probably push this thing over. Well, you probably could. It's brought it out. <laughs> We're not going to, <laughs> by any means. Well, I don't want to be the reason that there's no longer a Camden Oak, so no. I'll probably just leave it alone. It'll be a warrant for your arrest. Yeah. <laughs> you push this over. Plus, there's witnesses and stuff. There are witnesses I mean. here. <laughs> we always talk about places that you shouldn't go if you got warrants. Yeah. I don't want to limit our travels because I pushed over the oak tree. <laughs> yeah. It's probably got cameras out here, too. Yeah, but this place is really cool. Uh, it has it's not a ton to see but there's historical value there's a cemetery out here which we're getting ready to check out if the homes were open on the property it'd be even more interesting yeah and one of the really impressive things was the the house the replica of cornwallis's oh, house not, yeah it's not the real one because the real one burnt down but the cornwallis house is just huge it was beautiful we got to look in a couple yeah. of the windows and take some pictures over there but um it's really cool they're getting set up for a wedding right now so we couldn't see everything over there mm -hmm. um but another historical thing that's really cool about this place is that andrew jackson was a prisoner here on these grounds in yeah. canada before he was president back in like 17 he was a teenager what when was the year Oh, don't ask me what year it was. It was 17 something. 17 something. <laughs> it's like that, that song, 19 something. Seven, yeah. Andrew Jackson was a, was he was a, a teenager. prisoner here. Back here in 17 something. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Well, update on the on the ceiling or the roof leak. Well, good news and bad news. Good news is I don't feel dumb anymore. Yeah. Because <laughs> it wasn't just tightening down the bolts. One hundred dollar screw job either. No, one hundred dollar <laughs> screw job. We uh, waited out the the storm, mm -hmm. and the ceiling leaked again. It's it, it seemed at first it was going good though. It did. It seemed promising. We did discover something though that when the air conditioner shuts off that's, that's when, when the it water leaks. drops through we told the tech that and he came first, back yeah it's the first time he's ever heard of anything like yeah. that so somehow the running of the air conditioner is causing water to get in and then when the air conditioner shuts off it's draining through the intake vents yeah i don't know it's um, weird Very he did weird. go up there he sealed everything up tight Hopefully this will work. He cocked the crap out of it. Yeah, and it hasn't rained since then, so we just don't know. Yeah, we haven't been able to test out this now. So stick around for future episodes. Whenever mm -hmm. it rains and we get to test it again, we'll give you an update on whether the roof is still leaking. We, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> All the more uh, reason that we may be upgrading and tampa <laughs> yeah. we can't figure this thing out yeah i might just might just be cheaper to <laughs> yeah whatever <laughs> <laughs> we're not done in columbia we got mm -hmm. more coming next week some really cool stuff yeah we won't give out the spoiler alert yet you'll just have to come back next week and see mm -hmm. what else we got going on in columbia but it's going to be really cool yes and then we're headed to savannah, savannah. georgia savannah <laughs> Savannah, ooh na na. Yeah. <laughs> Way down in Georgia, yeah. in Savannah, <laughs> ooh na na. <laughs> no? I'm gonna leave my husband in Savannah, <laughs> ooh na na. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> on that uh, note, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you watching. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.